Mistakes in defence, you put pressure on the opposition. Scott Spedding is going to have a long range attempt. He always looked destined to be a full international player, and that is exactly what he is now. A solid performance, leading France to conclude at this stage. There is a clear route to victory, penalty after penalty. And they've brought up Spedding now to go for a long one. And he has got it. Giant kick against England in Paris in the warm-up. There's another from Scott Spedding. Massive bonus to have such a big boot in your team. Can PZ matter food? Tinas. Coxa. 55 metre kick. Got plenty on it. Straight between the post. Gee, that's a wonderful start for Namibia. If you keep hold of it and run in behind him, it's always going to be a penalty and give Boxes with his giant right boot an opportunity to go for what? 53, 54 metre kick. So Boxes with the wind as a help, not a hindrance. Makes it, nails it. The crowd unhappy with the decision to take the kick, but applauding a monster kick. Bang on his distance, 53. Wouldn't have carried by much more. And if this goes over, huge pressure on England and their tactics. Has he got the half penny distance here? This is going over. He'll never have a better moment to have more adrenaline in the body. Bigger, it's got it, it's there. We asked all week, what is Warren Ball? I think we have the definition. Priestland ran straight over to him. The huge respect these guys have as kickers. And he was fair play. Now watch France, Stain, Grant. Pre-match, we had the, the assistance of a fairly healthy breeze, and he was knocking them over. His first one tonight was short, but the wind had died away. He's got the assistance that's not as strong as it was when he was warming up, but there's certainly a bit of assistance here for him. He just about broke the crossbar with his first one. Let's see how he goes with this one. Another big kick, and it is over! Just snuck it over that time. Well, that is about 58, maybe close on 60 metres on the angle. And we've seen that from this man on many occasions, so it shouldn't come as any great surprise. Hugo Porta is going to go for a really big one. See, the halfway line is just in front of him, and then 50 metres to the post. So it's about 51, a few more paces on the angle. So it's about 52 metres for Hugo Porta. Oh, great goal! Great goal from the great man! Just when the gap was out to 10 points and looking ominous, Hugo Porter closes it up now to 13 to 6. Well, that's a tight one, very snug to the touchline on that far side there for, for Paul Arndt. Just a thought for a moment that they might decide to pop it in the corner, because this is by no means guaranteed that he kicked his first penalty from a fairly similar position so beautifully and this to restore a six-point lead for the Springboks. That is a wonderful 
wonderful kick. Wonderful kick for a right footy kicker from that side of the pitch. And uh, Pollard is punishing Wales at the moment. And South Africa, 9-3 to the good. Straighten it up, close to it anyway, so the rain around, heavy atmosphere, that's a bit good nudge. Very ambitious. It's a short approach too, isn't it? A couple of steps out. He's gonna give it a stab. How long's the night? He's made a good contact. He's made a very good contact. What a kick! What a warning shot to fire! That's how to let the opposition know that if they infringe, even there on the field, Georgia have a man who can punish. We saw him uh, kicking pre-match, didn't we, Justin? And he was nailing them with absolute ease from about 56, 57 metres, and that wasn't with the breeze. Yeah, I would suggest that was the reason. As soon as that penalty was awarded, he made his way infield and was the first man to the ruck pointing at the post. He's extremely confident he's got the distance in front. But what we saw pre-game certainly won't be a problem for him. I think man who asked me questions again, though, a little uncertain about that. Well, distance won't be a problem. That's a long, long kick, and it's a beauty. Easy. Francois Stein puts South Africa in front.